Perky Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got the good old Diet Dew. All right, guys, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys something that's uh, sort of been a secretive project that I'm working on. So here we go. All right, we're talking about this is the Travel Air Mystery Ship. Uh, this is some sketches from some balsa plans that I had printed out. Um, and this is part of a flight test uh, forum challenge to basically take an old classic airplane design such as a Travel Air Mystery Ship, um, or you can use any classic airplane for that matter. This is just the one I picked. Basically take a classic airplane design like this that was, you know, more designed for uh, balsa wood and transforming it into a foam board version. Um, I'll provide some links down below of the Travel Air Mystery Ship. It's a very interesting history. Um, like I said, it came out in the early 1920s, late 1930s, and was basically a racing airplane um, used, used during some of the early aviation races. Just to kind of get into some, some things here, this is, a, this is basically what I'm going by to try to design this and make this into foam board. So um, I took this right here and actually blew it up about 400%. Uh, giving me about a 30 inch wingspan, which the wing is right there. So this is the wing right now that I have for the Travel Air Mystery Ship. I have, um, and actually right over here is the, uh, the cutout that I used when I blew it up. But basically, I kept the same overall wing design on top and bottom, so there's no uh, uh, under camber that you see with a lot of the flight test airplanes. This is a full flat bottom going the whole uh, width of the um, the wing. I'm using two 5 gram servos here for the ailerons. I have a foam spar, just a basic square foam spar going all the way across um, the uh, width of the wing. I sort of went with John Overstreet's uh, technique of sort of molding and rolling the foam and so that's what I actually used to give it the uh, to give the airfoil its shape. So if you notice it's not it's not necessarily boxy like some of the um, the flight test wings. So we'll try to hold it here to the side. Um, you know, the aileron's sticking up there, but you can kind of see you can kind of see some of the curve to it there. So, anyways, that's what I've been working on. I've started. I've got the wing pretty much completed, aside from getting the, uh, the control horns in and stuff like that. Um, I do have the elevator made up here and um, kind of a basic template for the rudder already uh, cut out as well and I also have just started working on the fuselage and getting some of the pieces for it together so uh, I'll be providing some more um, I'll be providing some more uh, videos and updates to this build as it goes so um, and hopefully we'll have a maiden flight here at some point as well so anyways the Travel Air Mystery Ship. All right, so there you have it, the Travel Air Mystery Ship. My little contribution to the Flight Test Forum Challenge uh, of transforming these old classic balsa, pla balsa planes to foam board. So um, despite, um, basically, once this particular challenge was to be completed, we were all gonna have our planes ready for Flight Fest 2020. But as we all know, Flight Fest 2020 got canceled. So regardless of that, we're, we're still working on these challenges or have completed them already and sharing our results with uh, with everyone out there. So, and, and I, I, like I said, that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'll be providing you updates as I get them on the Travel Air Mystery Ship. So, um, but anyways, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I want to thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.